Live. First Alert 4 starts now. Thank you for joining us. I'm Justin Andrews. Tomorrow was the first day of school for tens of thousands of students across the St. Louis area. First Alert 4's Alexis Zotos shows us the efforts to keep children safe as they head back to class. Tens of First Alert 4. And you just heard Alexis there mentioned talking about hundreds of families in the St. Louis Public School District. They're scrambling for rides to get their children to school. Just yesterday, the district announced that one of its transportation vendors would not be able to provide service to 1,000 students. Keep in mind, the first day of school is tomorrow. Extra Care Services was supposed to provide six buses for nearly two dozen schools in the district. SLPS says the company alerted them yesterday that it could not meet that obligation less than 48 hours before the first day of class. This is the third transportation vendor to pull out or reduce services right before the new school year. Gas cards are being offered by the district to parents who drive their kids to school. First Lord Four is tracking crime tonight as St. Louis City Police are searching for suspects involved in a double shooting near downtown at a gas station. Police say two men were sitting at a car inside a car on this BP gas station parking lot on South Broadway near Shoto. Someone started shooting just after 6 o'clock this morning, hitting both men. The victims arrived at the hospital in critical condition. Investigators are asking anyone with information to call Crime Stoppers. And new details coming in tonight about another double shooting. This one in North City. Two men were shot just after 6 o'clock last night on Union near Wabata Avenue. Police say one of the victims tried to drive himself to the hospital, but he ended up crashing his car into Williams Temple Church about a half mile from the shooting scene. He was taken to the hospital and later pronounced dead. The second victim got to the hospital for his injuries in a separate car. If you know anything about this case, call Crime Stoppers. And we got lots of sunshine across the area today. This is a live look over Forest Park. You see the clouds there. The sun is shining bright. So I want to send things over to First Alert Meteorologist Kristen Cornett. How long would this sun last coming up Isn't this morning? Isn't it nice? Oh, it gosh. Is. How long will the sun last? Probably for like the next 10 days, <laughs> I, I tell you. I don't see a lot of changes in that. The temperatures might do a little bit of this, but the sunshine, probably not going anywhere for a while. Well, the eyes of the world, the eyes of the political world, I should say, turn to Chicago this week as a Democratic National Convention kicks off Monday. But first, both presidential campaigns are zeroing in on a key battleground state, Pennsylvania. CBS's Skylar Henry with the latest on that tonight. Here's a live look at Bush Stadium where the Cardinals played a day game today. Fans who watched the game also heard an important message. August is Drug Overdose Awareness Month. Relatives of more than 200 victims of the opioid crisis were at the game to raise awareness. First Alert Four's Russell Kinsall has more on their efforts tonight. Coming up on First Alert 4, a change in the real estate market. We're breaking down the new rules on real estate fees and what they mean for you. Coming up. New rules now in effect that change the way homes are bought and sold across the U.S. Jolene Kent found out for home buyers this could mean paying lower commissions to realtor, realtors. Millions of Americans enjoy fishing during the summer, but few have gone fishing with a magnet. After the break, the unique hobby gaining popularity that could help you find a buried treasure. It's not even fall yet, but apple season is already underway at Eckert's in the Metro East. You can pick your own and Maya apples at the Grafton and Belleville Farms. You'll also find apple pie and other sweet treats at the country store. More varieties of apples will be available for picking in the weeks ahead. St. Louis City SC is making an impact off the pitch. The team is partnering with Schnooks for a week-long food drive to help feed the hungry. The food drive starts today and runs through next Sunday. It benefits Operation Food Search, which serves tens of thousands of people in our community. On Wednesday, the team will be hosting a meet and greet with several City SC players. That's on August 21st at the De Pere Schnooks from 4 to 5 15 p.m. If you're interested, we have a lot more information on our website and also on the First Alert 4 news app. There's a different type of fishing gaining popularity across America. It involves looking for sunken treasure. A strong neodymium natural earth magnet, which you can find on Amazon, uh, and you tie it to the end of a rope and you literally throw it anywhere people can regular fish and you'll be pulling out anything metallic. 
Magnet fishing has been around for centuries, but a couple New Yorkers have helped make it popular with their YouTube channel, Let's Get Magnetic, with thousands of subscribers anxious to see what they'll reel in next and even trying it themselves. Some finds are pretty bizarre, like guns, a grenade, and construction equipment, but recently they've reeled in a safe with roughly $60,000 of cash inside. Oh my God, there's a stack of money. There's a stack of money. No way. For me personally, it's the unknowingness of it. It's like a lottery ticket every time you throw the, the magnet in the water. So wild. Magnet fishing is legal in Missouri and Illinois, but you often need a permit and some items you're not allowed to keep. Pretty interesting stuff there, Kristen. <laughs> Definitely. Bicyclists of all ages filled the streets of downtown St. Louis last night for the 60th annual Moonlight Ramble. The bike ride at night is held each August on the Saturday closest to the full moon. More than 1,000 cyclists, look at them there, joined this year's ride. They could choose a 7 to 11 or 16 mile ride. Money raised supports Trailnet Streets for all campaign. All right, Kristen, are we able to copy and paste today's weather for the rest of the week? It was amazing today. Well, you know, what if it's a little bit cooler and a little bit less humid? Though? That's even better. Okay. I like that. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to be saying. Okay, cool. It's going to be pretty perfect. And that, my friends, I call that perfection. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Kristen. <laughs> well, the Cardinals wrap up their series against the Dodgers and the Fighting Illini, well, they get ready for the upcoming football season. Sports on Force next. Stay with us. More from Bush. Also more from the track tonight in Sports Sunday. All right, looking forward to it, Brian. Thank you. That's the news here at 530. 60 Minutes is next. We're back at 10. We'll see you then.